Things were going really good at this event. We've got a great crew of judges. 80% of them have actually judged a Baja event before. Many of them were on the teams. It makes a big difference. Helps us to be more consistent across all the competitions and turn a subjective evaluation into something that's as objective as possible. So this being the second event, we've definitely seen teams improve over Maryland. We get the closest to the design finals teams because we, we hear their presentations again. They're almost all of them come back and talk to us seeking feedback. So they're able to talk about the changes that they've made from last competition to this one. And also I was able to meet with Jason, the event lead of the last competition. We had some conversations. He discussed how some of the teams did at Maryland and what to look for coming up and I could see the changes that they've made based off of the information I got from Maryland. So just from competition to competition to see teams improving is really cool. A couple things that teams could do to improve for Oregon is having actual validation on the components that are on the car. I feel like that was one of the big things that separated the top teams. Several teams a lot more than in the past have done a good job of taking actual analysis, actual data of the components from last year's car, fed that into their analysis this year, but the only thing they had validating this component was some FEA results. FEA is not validation. FEA is a tool to help you get through your iterations faster to get to a final design that you then validate you still need to have validation testing on this year's components to fully complete the engineering cycle. One of the best ways to do that is to have a specific test procedure or test plan that failed last year's component. You did your design process, you have a new component for this year, you repeated the exact same test on it, you could show a percent improvement, show a percent correlation to your FEA and then taking that part past success all the way to failure so you know for sure with testing how much margin that you have. Uh, we've done a really good job this year of laying out some specific descriptions of each step that we're looking for in the engineering process. I think if you look at those and plan your presentation so that you hit each one of those points as you're going through your presentation do that and when you're when you're with your judges part of it will be a conversation back and forth but if you've got good content present that process to them and uh, that's kind of what they're helping to judge you on I, I think overall what's really cool for me this will be my fifth year coming to Baja my fourth year as a design event lead and to see where this competition's gone over the past five years is amazing of what these students are understanding about the engineering process. I think what I see happening is that they're trying to play to our rules by following the process that Polaris wants. But what they're discovering is our whole purpose for the event and is that you really know the most about a component when you test it. See when it fails and how it fails. And I think I'm really starting to see their learning explode about understanding their FEA so much better, understanding their actual parts so much better. So they started off just trying to meet our requirements, but they're actually learning what we wanted them to, that uh, the real proof of the pudding is in the validation. And I think it's making their parts better, faster, lighter. They're, they're, they're learning it and ultimately preparing them for, for industry to be awesome entry-level engineers, which I feel is the purpose of this competition. So right now, Baja is life, but trust me, the, the purpose of this is for what you're going to be doing for the next 40 years after that. So just, uh, just keep that perspective in mind as well.